Everybody, so here's the scenario. Your friend calls you, invites you to a party. You have two hours. Of course you want to go. You say, yes, I'm going to come. It's a fabulous party. Here's the deal. You don't have the money or the time to accessorize that same dress that you wear to every party, your go-to dress. <laughs> Ladies, you know what I'm talking to. I'm talking about everyone's got that dress. Don't worry, because Orly Shani is here with the greatest solution to accessorizing that dress you've worn 100 times. Yes, I am. Uh, sometimes I'm like, it? oh, stop it. But I am. But, yeah. I am here with the best <laughs> yeah. solution so ever. It. Yes, right. and I'm going to own it. Perfect. And it's going to um, two hours or less. Yes, exactly. And, and a couple of versions are just five minutes. This is super, super fun. And not only is it um, a necklace that we're going to be making using sort of found materials. These are, you know, leftover beads and safety pins that we have. But this is also a, kind of a huge trend right now because 90s are just having the biggest comeback ever. Mm -hmm. And safety pins are very reminiscent of 90s and grunge. And so this necklace right here was done by Mark Jacobs. This is a beautiful necklace. It was very popular and is now even on sale, but still on sale, it's $250. So it's yeah. still really pricey, yeah. but it's it's really beautiful and it's a huge statement. And it was piece. all over the runways last yeah. year. Yeah. It was People everywhere. were making clothes and tops out of mm -hmm. safety pins. It's I mean, cool it's, it's really fun, right? Yeah. So it's incredibly easy to do. Um, all that we need to start off with are your safety pins. You're mm -hmm. going to want it first decide on your color scheme. Okay. So if we're going to go with kind of like a gold moment, then you want to get a gold chain, you want to get gold jump rings, and you want to get gold safety pins. Okay. okay. I recommend getting the safety pins that come in kind of like the variety pack hmm. so that you end up with multiple sizes. Oh. Um, that's one way of doing it. And then obviously if you're going to do silver, then you're going to get Are you handy, the opposite. AJ? Are you good? Uh, no. I'm no, actually not, not a craft not Don't worry. If my sister was here, yeah. she'd be like, oh, yeah, I got it. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this. I can do it. I'm not a fine it's motor okay. skill person, but I'm going to live by Fine <laughs> motor <laughs> skill person. Uh, I know. So love that. Black. Yes. Okay, so the black ones, these you probably have to order, like, on Amazon or something if you want to go with the black. They're not as readily available, but they're super cool. Yeah. Those are cool. Okay. You so never see black. No, you never do. Mm -hmm. um, and these are really popular, like, in um, styling because stylists mm. will use them often to hide, like, if you mm -hmm. need to pinch in your pants mm -hmm. and black is you know very popular so first thing is you're going to thread the beads onto your safety pin okay. so what you're gonna do there it is you're just gonna open up the safety pin like normal and drop them on almost every bead is gonna have the right size that's gonna go right through that Easy now you're see. gonna close it AJ, and that's that. essentially your that. charm so the next thing is taking your jump rings and mm -hmm. right there is the little split so with one pair of pliers I'm gonna hold it and then the other pair of pliers, I'm gonna open. Oh, it. your motor skills are My amazing. motor skills wow. are impressive. Uh, <laughs> Next, you're gonna loop that oh, jump ring through a little link in your chain necklace and add it on. And there you see each one is added on, and it really becomes oh, I love that. a charm. Link. Oh, where are we? Okay, good job. So look at it. Right around this, the middle. This is yeah. cute. This one is even easier because all I did, let me get it outside of my mic. Oh, well, we can't. Well, okay. it's stuck. We it's hooked in. Can. So look at I didn't even use there jump you know. rings. It's just, I got a really small chain that would fit, oh, and, you need yeah. and it's rings. all just yeah. looped through here, and it's just hanging. Oh, that is off so the chain. Off the, the chain. chain. That is off the chain. Wow. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> so when you're doing this, you guys, what I highly recommend doing is creating your pattern first. So let's say we're going to work in this kind of gunmetal vibe. Make a, a center piece that's your statement big piece. Mm -hmm. Then make two identical ones. Then make two identical ones, two identical ones, and oh. pre-make your design and lay it out before you do anything else. That way you know exactly the order and what you're gonna do, how many jump rings you mm -hmm. need, where you're gonna start on your necklace. Like for example, this one here, I took my necklace, I held it up straight, I figured out what was my center point, and that's where I started. Yeah. Then I counted one, two, and I put one there. One, two, okay. and I put one there. I'm seeing different chains. Oh. Is there a chain that's easier the, to use than another chain? There's a, there's a couple of options. What I would really recommend doing is starting with your chain, actually, because depending on the chain you get, that's the size jump ring you need. So for something like this, this chain is nice and small, so this size jump ring is perfect. That has enough room to fit through the hole at the end of my safety pin and enough room to hang onto my chain and allow it to dangle freely. Yeah. Okay. Something that's a little bit like this, if I had a really big jump ring, it would want to move mm -hmm. around. It would have yeah. room to yeah. slide yeah. up mm -hmm. and down. So you want to start with that first, either a ball chain like this or a classic chain, either one's gonna work, just look at your jump rings, mm -hmm. and then create your design, and then just decide how you wanna space them out, 
And that's basically how you're going to go ahead and do it. Beads on it. Yeah, and yeah. you just create your charms. What this about is that? the one you're I pointing love at. That. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. so much. You guys, this is like the real five minute version. These giant, giant safety pins. They're come, diaper pins. They're diaper pins. These okay. are my favorite ones. So they're really cool. What I did is I created my uh -huh. pattern. I decided the order, and you can see they're all looped in right at the top. There's no jump rings there. That's the edge of the safety pin. Uh -huh. I looped them all through, and then I just took um, leather. Oh strap. my gosh. And then you just and tie you just it. Do that. And I just tied it All to the end these. of either one. And yeah. you could do chain if you wanted. Yeah. Cool. But really, there are a million ways to do this, which is really fun. You can get super creative. Just decide on your color scheme mm -hmm. and go from there because you'll go into a vortex. You're not going to go to that party. You're going to yeah. have so much fun. Wow. Forget the party. Make make it, it, say make no to the party. Say no to the party. party and yes, yes to, to the making. jewelry. Exactly. Sure. How much would that cost to make? So the one that we saw was an on sale now, $250, and this was about 15 bucks.